Hey sports bettors, what's up? Alex here, and we're gonna be going through some of the best sports betting promotions that are out there today on Caesars, on FanDuel, stuff like that. But before that, I just wanted to talk very briefly about this Browns Raiders game. So lines have moved. They were plus 140 this morning. Now they're all the way down to minus 135 as the best price you can get them. You can see Pinnacles actually all the way down at minus 149. So lines have completely reversed and it's pretty interesting. So what I ended up doing is going back and just looking at odds jam data, the best prices, the best odds that you could have gotten on the Browns each day over the past week. So on December 12th, the best odds you could get on the Browns were minus 250. Then on the 14th, they were all the way at minus 160. Um, but then they moved to plus 150 dogs on the 17th. Then on the 18th and 19th, they were favored again at minus 155, minus 160. And now you can see that the best price you can get on the Browns if you're betting from the state of Colorado is plus 135. So obviously there have been a ton of line movements in this game. Um, and if you were a sharp sports better and kind of able to get in on some of these betting opportunities, you would have been able to get the Raiders at a pretty incredible price this morning. Um, but now what we can do is just kind of dive into the bets. So you can see we actually have a bet on the Browns. Um, a couple days ago, we ended up taking Browns minus 2.5 first half point spread, which at the time was an incredible bet. We bet $250 on it at plus 110 odds. And now, you know, this is a horrendous bet. Like lines don't always move in your favor. Sometimes you will have bets where you're not generating positive closing value, where you're not beating the closing line. But as a sports better, you kind of assume these things are random. Um, the lines obviously moved hugely against us in this Browns game, but sometimes the lines move vastly in your favor. So we can get into the bets for today. So the first bet we have is just a bet straight from the Odds Jam positive expected value page. So you can see right here, we were able to get the Jets at minus 118 in next week's game um, versus the Jaguars. Now you can see the best price you can get on the Jets is minus 132 on FanDuel. So pretty good bet we were able to get in on on FanDuel. We were limited to 188.05. Then we have a free bet from DraftKings. So you can see right here, they have this you know cute little promotion called Holiday Gift Surprise. Claim your gift of a holiday free bet up to $50. So I hit claim now. They gave me a $50 free bet. So I guess I got the maximum. And I put it just on a few plays from the Odds Jam Positive Expected Value page. So we took Maryland minus 2.5. We took Utah plus 8.5. And we took under 42.5 in this Michigan game. So when you're placing a free bet, you want the odds to be as high as possible. That's how you get the most value out of your free bets. You want them to be on bets with long odds. So what we ended up doing is just crafting this little parlay at um, plus 692 odds that, you know, it's a great parlay because all of the legs we're including are great lines on DraftKings. Like we got Utah, you know, plus 8.5. So if we click into this game, you can see in terms of the alternate spreads, like Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book in the world, is all the way down at minus 165. So minus 135 is a great leg to include in our free bet parlay. Um, so what we can do is we can continue to go down. So next we have a middle. And this is largely, again, for the sake of example, is you can see right here, we'll explain what a middle is, is we put on this middle between Twin Spires and um, DraftKings, Virginia minus eight and SMU plus 8.5. So you can see, you know, if we bet $200 on SMU plus 8.5, and $100 on Virginia minus eight plus 200, there's no way we can lose money, right? There's no way SMU doesn't cover the 8.5 point spread and Virginia doesn't cover as well. Like there's no way you don't win at least one bet. But if Virginia wins by exactly eight points, then our bet on Twin Spires will hit. So we put $200 on Twin Spires. So if our bet, if Virginia wins by exactly eight points, both bets will hit. The bet on DraftKings will be a push. We'll get our money back and SMU will cover the plus 8.5 point spread and we'll win $100. We're staking $200 at minus 200 odds. So we essentially have a free lottery ticket where we get $100 in profit if UVA wins the game by exactly eight points. And if any other outcome happens, if SMU wins, if UVA wins by 20, it doesn't matter. We lose nothing. We'll either you know make $200 of profit on DraftKings and lose $200 on Twin Spires, 
or we'll lose our $200 or we'll lose our $100 bet on DraftKings and we'll win $100 in profit on Twinspire. So you can run through the math. Um, it's a good exercise. SMU plus 8.5 minus 200 and UVA minus 8 plus 200. That's the middle we have on. Then there are a few promos on Caesar. So first they have a 50% daily bowl profit boost. So you get a 50% boost on any bowl game. So we ended up going with ODU Moneyline. And then they also have a promo for tonight's football game, the Vikings Bears game. So bet $75 on the total points market on the over under and you win a free bet. Uh, and if your bet wins, you get a free bet for the total amount of points scored in the game. So Caesars, right, if there's 50 points in the game and we bet on the over, Caesars will give us a $50 free bet. So that's a pretty great, you know, promo. It's definitely profitable. And we ended up going with Bears, Vikings over 45.5. Then we have a few plus EV plays on win bet, some of them using our rewards. So we have 49ers money line, wild money line. So hockey, NFL, um, plus 298 odds. We have a sole plus EV play on win bet. We have over 234.5 points in the Hornets Jazz game. Obviously, that's a pretty high, you know, total. But if we go into this game, we can see what betting markets are are currently implying. I guess neither of these teams plays any defense. And if we go into total points and we scroll down, you can see now most sports books, they started ripping higher. It opened at about 232, and that's just been going up and up and up. As most sports books have the OU now set at 237, Pinnacles at 237, or 236.5. So our bet, we have over 234.5 on win bet, like it's an ARB to basically everything. So this was a pretty incredible betting opportunity we were able to get down on win bet. And then we have um, uh, Seahawks, Rams, and 49ers spread. So over in the Seahawks, Rams, and 49ers point spread. And again, all we're doing for these is we're simply going to, you know, hockey or any sport, and you're looking for odds that are best offered on win bet. So you can see, like, tonight, you know, now we were able to get plus 105 initially on the wild. Now win bet is giving the best odds on the stars. Right, so this may be a great leg to include in your win bet parlay. So we're currently sitting at, we have a few parlays open where we've already won our first leg and you know a complete reversal since last week. So last week I think we were down 4K and then this weekend went incredible. We're up 2.2K and we have a few bets open where we've already won our first leg. So for example, we have under 41 points in the Washington football team Eagles game and over 222.5 in the Spurs game. The first leg already hit in the Spurs game. So now we just need the Eagles game. And then we have under 41 in Washington football team Eagles and Western Kentucky money line. That was a college football bowl game in Western Kentucky already won. So we're looking pretty good on some of these open parlays as well. Um, so that's basically all the bets we have. So obviously our Browns minus 2.5 bet from earlier, you know, didn't work out for us. But so far we're looking pretty good. We're sitting at 2.2K in profit. And hopefully that continues to tick to, to higher and higher. And a lot of sports betting promotions for these bowl games and for these NFL games tonight. So make sure to take a look at these sports books. You know, go into your DraftKings, get your free bet up to $50. It's literally a free $50. And um, again, thanks so much for your time.